Hello YouTube friends, Dr. Teresa here. Today I'm talking about dwarf seahorse tank sizes inspired by Michael McGuire 2078's question. And he wanted to know if he could keep dwarf seahorses in a five gallon aquarium and how difficult it would be to maintain them in that size. Well, a lot of people I know and from over the years have kept dwarf seahorses in tank sizes anywhere from two gallons up to 10 gallons. And some of the factors that determine what size would be appropriate are the size of your herd. So I definitely wouldn't go into anything less than two gallons for a couple of reasons. One, it would be super hard to provide any kind of real filtration. And another reason is you really don't want to be keeping less than five-ish seahorses together. They are very social animals, and so you want to have a herd that's at least five to six. And that is going to be way too much for anything less than two gallons. You would have to do really huge water changes every single day. Also, you have to think about how hard is it going to be to clean the sides and what are you going to use to vacuum out the bottom, which really should be done regularly. So I definitely wouldn't go less than two gallons. Now working with two gallons, I would say that that could house up to anywhere from 6 to 12 dwarf seahorses safely. But the trade-off is you're going to have to do really huge water changes on a daily basis, maybe even twice a day of more than 50%, just because that toxin that will accumulate from the waste will build up pretty fast in that tiny aquarium, especially if you don't have a really good biological filter on there. The benefit of going smaller is that you can really condense the amount of brine shrimp that you have in just that small space so you don't need to hatch out as much which is a real nice bonus. So the trade-off is hatching less brine shrimp. You could probably get away with just using a hatching dish instead of something more sophisticated. But again, think about the ease of cleaning. How are you going to get in and vacuum the bottom of the tank? You might even just have to use a turkey baster, for example. If we're talking a little bit larger, you could definitely do five gallons, but I wouldn't recommend more than Oh, I would say 20 to 30 dwarf seahorses, depending on the water parameters. Definitely it will be easier to clean than a two gallon aquarium. And it will be easier to get inside and vacuum out or siphon out the bottom, get to the sides of the aquarium. And you could put a decent little hang on the back filter or other kind of filter for the filtration system in a five gallon. So that would be pretty good. And with a herd up to 20 or 30 seahorses, you could still concentrate the brine shrimp feedings pretty decently and maybe even get away with just using a couple of hatching dishes. Now, the maximum that most people have for a dwarf seahorse tank that I know of is 10 gallons. And 10 gallons seems to be the sweet spot. That is where you can house anywhere between 40 and 60 dwarf seahorses safely and still be able to clean up with the waste load. You can get in there pretty easily to clean the walls, vacuum out the bottom, also have a decent size filter on the tank. The disadvantage is that you will have to hatch out a lot more brine shrimp and probably those hatching dishes wouldn't be enough. You would have to use a more sophisticated hatching system. The other benefit besides the ease of cleaning is that that size tank will be very stable. So with consistent water changes, just a small amount each day or every other day, and maybe a larger one on a weekend will really help keep the water stable. 
and it will be a good environment to keep dwarf seahorses healthy. Now, Elwood Blues is experimenting. He just upgraded to a 40-gallon aquarium, and I've never heard of Dorsey horses being kept in the home aquarium in a tank that large. But he's doing something interesting, so I'm curious to see how that would turn out long-term. He has plugs of live macroalgae that he can move around so it's easy to vacuum and he's treated them so hydro hydroids and pests aren't going to build up in that aquarium but the only filtration he's using besides the macroalgae are just air stones which i find amazing now i don't know how often he's cleaning his tank but he says with this method that he is having to hatch out a lot less brine shrimp which kind of makes sense because none of it is getting sucked into the intake sponge on a mini power filter and he says also that he's having to do fewer water changes so i would really like to see how this goes for him long term but anyway, for most people, I would say 10 gallons is the sweet spot. But if you're starting with a smaller herd, yes, you could use two gallons or five gallons. But remember, the smaller you go, the more often your water changes and maybe even the greater amount. So it's, it's a trade-off. Your ability to clean and keep balanced water quality versus how much brine shrimp you need to hatch out. Well, I hope you found this useful, and if you're thinking about getting dwarf seahorses, it gave you some thoughts in your decision-making process about the size of aquarium you want compared to how many dwarf seahorses that you would like to start with. I love your questions. Please feel free to reach out if you have more. I'd love to do a video on it. Thanks again for watching, and take care.